Hello guys! In this tutorial, you will learn how to add loyalty card page into your app. The small businesses use loyalty cards to offer freebie or rewards to their customers, which helps them convert first-time customers into returning customers, thereby gaining their trust and loyalty. You can provide any reward or gift or any other thing to attract your customers as freebie. Start creating your app. Once you're on App Pages, under Commerce tab, you will see Loyalty Card page. Click to add it into your app. In the Loyalty Card section, you can change the page name as per your preference and add a new card. Loyalty Card page is divided into three sections, Card Slot, Validation, and Details. I am filling Loyalty Card details first. You can see the preview on the simulator. However, if you want, you can start from Card Slot section. Under the Details section, you need to provide card name, brief description, and terms and conditions. Once you have provided all the necessary details, you can see the preview of Loyalty Card on the simulator. On clicking the Loyalty Card in the simulation window, you will be able to see the stamp screen. Now let's move to other mandatory sections of Loyalty Card. In the Slot section, you need to select Number of Stamps. Here you also have the option to show numbers on stamp, instead of icons which you can enable or disable as per your needs. If you select show icons instead of number, you also have the option to change the default stamp icon image. Now select the type of car, reusable or one-time use only. Provide the final freebie text. Final freebie is the gift or reward which you provide to your customer when they redeem the last stamp of the loyalty car. The final freebie text will be displayed to your users when they redeem the last stamp. Here you can write a congratulations message. You can also change final freebie stamp icon image from here. If you want to reward your users after certain stamps redemption, you can enable the mid card freebie. Under mid card freebie, you can select the stamp slot where you want to offer the mid freebie and provide mid card freebie text or change its icon. The difference between Final Freebie and Mid Freebie is that Final Freebie is offered when the last stamp of your loyalty card is redeemed by the users, while in Mid Freebie you have the option to select the stamp slot on which you want to offer the freebie. Next comes Validation section. Here are two types of validations for loyalty card redemption, via PIN and via manual check-in. Via PIN validation is further divided into two parts, single code and unique codes. If you select single code PIN validation, you will get a single code through which you can redeem loyalty stamps of the users. Let me explain you with an example. Your app user visits the store and hands over his or her mobile device to you or your shopkeeper. Then you just need to enter this single code and redeem the stamp. The process will work in the same way each stamp app user wants to redeem the stamp. Please note, don't disclose your single code with anyone to avoid fraudulent. If you want, you can also enable Allow Multiple Stamps Redemption option, through which you can redeem more than one stamp at a time just by using single pin. Now let me explain you with an example. Suppose your app user visits the store and purchases multiple products. Then if you have enabled Allow Multiple Stamps Redemption option in your app, you will see a drop down menu in the Loyalty Car section. From here you can select number of stamps and validate all of them in one go with a single code. If you select Unique Code Pin Validation, it means you have to validate each stamp by using different unique codes. Now let me explain you with an example. In this validation, app users don't need to hand over their mobile device to you or your shopkeeper app users will be able to redeem stamps by themselves. Just for your information, you will have a number of unique pins to redeem stamps, where one pin will redeem only one stamp. So if any of your app user wants to redeem more than one stamp, then you need to provide him her the respective number of unique pins for stamp redemption. You can enter the number of unique codes that you want to generate. The generated pins contains text codes and QR codes. You can download the unique pin sheet and forward unique pin or pins or QR codes to your app users. Just for your information, you also have the option to regenerate unique codes after 70% codes have been redeemed. Please note, for free apps, you can generate 100 unique codes only, while in pay apps, you can generate up to 1,000 unique codes at a time. Just to inform you, if you are creating a new app and haven't subscribed to any plan, you will only be able to generate 100 unique codes for testing purpose. Please note, in single code pin validation, app owner can redeem multiple stamps with a, with a single unique code or QR code, while in unique code validation app, app owner can only distribute unique redemption codes to app users for every single stamp. 
Next option is manual check and validation. In this validation process, you need to provide the address and radius in meters for creating a fence. So once your app user enters that prefix location, then they will be able to redeem stamps. Manual check and validation is categorized in two sections. Manual invoice check and invoice screenshot or image. If you select manual invoice check option, then once your app users are in the check-in range, then they will be able to redeem stamp by filling invoice number. If you select screenshot invoice option, then your app users are in the radius. They will be able to redeem stamp by uploading invoice screenshot or invoice image. Just to inform you, both manual invoice check and invoice screenshot are offline features. You will need to manage them separately. You can set the daily limit per user. It means you can allocate a fixed number of stamps for each user to redeem in a day. You can also set the validity date for each loyalty card. Next comes the details section. Here you can provide details related to your loyalty card, which I have already filled at the beginning. Now I want to show you some additional functionality. If you notice, on the right side of text area, we have provided text formatting options like strike through, underline, italic, and bold. There are two more icons, create deep links and remove deep link, which are related to deep linking or in-app linking. Through in-app linking, you can link internal pages of your app to this page. It means you can redirect your app users to any other page of your app directly from loyalty card page. Let's see how it works. Each app page has its own deep link or in-app link and it's mentioned at the top of the page. You just need to open the specific page which you want to show to your users when they tap on the deep link text and copy its deep link. Please note that the deep link of each app page is different. Just click on the copy button to copy it. Now go back to the loyalty page. Under the brief description section, select the text that you want to work as deep link text. Then click on the first green button, which is the deep link button, and paste the copy deep link URL in the dialog box. It will make the selected text as deep link or in-app link text. You can see its reflection on the simulator. When app users click on this, on this deep link text, they will be redirected to, to the selected page of the same app. The second green button is removing deep linking. For that, you just need to select the deep linking text, then simply click on remove deep link icon. You can see its reflection on the simulator. Deep link text turns normal. Just for your information, we won't be able to change the loyalty card slot and validation settings again if you click on save and finish, or test the redeem feature, or go to any other app page. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.